Yeah, so uh, the Ecumenical Year of 2025 it will be a very special year, I expect, um, in Sweden. Uh, the churches in Sweden together, uh, through the Christian Council of Sweden, are preparing um, for uh, celebrating this year under the theme of Time for God's Peace. Uh, which also means that it will be a year of, of deep reflection on this theme, what it means today. And for us, it means uh, reflecting on this theme uh, in relation to what happened 100 years ago in our capital, Stockholm, uh, where we had a big uh, ecumenical international gathering in 1925. So in the turbulent interwar period. Uh, and for us today, uh, this year will be a, a special occasion to reflect on this theme uh, in relation to what happened then and in relation to what we are standing in front of right now. So I'm working at the University College Stockholm uh, and there we are going to, to contribute to this uh, ecumenical year by means of giving a summer course, an ecumenical summer academy and the theme uh, is related to the overall theme of, of the ecumenical year. So the course will be given under the theme of uh, ecumenical peace building in times of war, the legacy of Stockholm 1925. And it will be a, an online course in the sense of a teaching period in June and July. But then uh, it will also uh, provide the opportunity for those students who want to, to come to Stockholm in August uh, for a week, uh, because then there would be a, a, a week of um, an, an anniversary and jubilee and celebration in Stockholm um, with regard to that it has passed 100 years since the big Stockholm uh, conference in 1925. And that there will be a lot of seminars, there will be a lot of services, uh, there will be different kinds of events, um, and there will also be a festival at the end of the week. And as a student uh, coming to the uh, Ecumenical Summer Academy, uh, one is uh, invited to uh, participate in the program alongside seminars at campus and will also get the opportunity to, uh, to contribute to the program of the week. Um, so this is, um, uh, yeah, the summer course and uh, these two parts of the summer course, um, both the digital and uh, a campus um, physical uh, meeting. I put big value in the uh, uh, EEF commission. I think that it provides a network uh, of uh, people who are engaged in ecumenical education or working with ecumenical education in different ways. Uh, we are not that many uh, in the world, so it is important that we come together. Often as an ecumenical educator, uh, you work uh, pretty much alone, so you have to connect to colleagues who live in different um, parts of the world and different parts of your own region. And I think these opportunities of coming together and sharing experiences, methodologies, ideas and also hopes and visions and um, the opportunity to, to discuss what are the challenges and what, what are the, the possibilities uh, for ecumenical education, uh, that is invaluable. We actually have a, a one more uh, initiative of ecumenical education uh, in Stockholm at the University College Stockholm uh, on top of the Ecumenical Summer Academy and that is that we will launch the uh, Stockholm Ecumenical Academy uh, in January 2025. And the Stockholm Ecumenical Academy is a, a forum for theological reflection on ecumenism and a space for getting to know the global ecumenical movement. And we will arrange um, seminars, conferences, symposiums and courses and here the uh, Summer Academy, the Ecumenical Summer Academy, will be the first course that is launched under this umbrella of the Ecumenical Academy. And it will continue after uh, 2025. And we hope to, uh, that we in the future also might give a, a winter academy maybe on, on another ecumenical theme.